One of the things I've been thinking about recently with regard to Christmas is how Christmas uh, shows to us uh, the unity that we ought to have in Christ with one another as fellow believers, or the unity that we're intended to have and enabled to have uh, uh, symbolized to us, uh, shown to us in Christ's incarnation. Paul speaks about this in Philippians chapter 2 as he reflects on how Christ, though being in the form of God, did not consider equality with God a thing to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant and being found in human likeness. And uh, the reason why Paul reflects on the incarnation in just that way there in Philippians 2 is because he's exhorting the Philippians themselves to have unity with each other. Uh, he says that just earlier in the chapter, to have this same mindset yourselves, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, etc. Uh, evidently, the Philippians uh, had some divisions between each other as Christians that Paul was trying to remedy, bring them together uh, to be more unified. Even some in the congregation there who had uh, served God quite devoutly themselves still didn't find proper unity with each other. And so Paul urges them to have the selflessness that Christ himself had, as we see in the incarnation itself, giving up his own self-interest uh, on behalf of and for the sake of the interests of others. Paul says that if we also have that mindset, then uh, the divisions that we might otherwise end up having over lesser things, things of personal self-interest and the like, uh, remarkably uh, go away in the favor of this greater Christ-like mindset uh, that the incarnation shows us. Of course, along with that, we understand that we fail to have this selflessness uh, so often, every day, and so not just the incarnation, but the death of Christ is so important, what the incarnation leads to, that even as we fail in our selfishness, he died for that selfishness. He did so, so that in him and through him, through his power, uh, we might more and more have his own mindset ourselves. So this Christmas season, uh, I pray that we would be able to have the mindset that we see of the, in the incarnation, uh, giving up our own self-interest, giving of ourselves in a servant-like status for one another, even as Christ has done in far greater way for us.